Who plays games for the main game anymore? I'm here for the new game plus. Like, that's where the fun begins. Hold up, Anakin. Wall Long Fallen Dynasty has an expansive new game plus mode with 5 star, rarity, grey sets, and a bunch of other changes that make the game significantly Which it kinda needed anyway, let's be honest. Alright, let's break it all down. Let's first look about how to unlock the new game plus. Now you probably guessed it, you just have to kind of finish the main story. You have to complete all the main missions. The sub battlefields don't really matter here. You just need to complete the Crouching Dragon Roars, which is the last main mission of the game. I won't show the boss here for spoilers or any of the spoilery stuff in case you haven't finished the game. But once you have done that and then you go back to the hidden village and open up the travel menu, you'll get a new option to initiate the Rising Dragon difficulty. This is the new game plus mode, this difficulty. It's also worth pointing out that after you've beaten that last main mission there are some new sub battlefields that will unlock in part seven that you can also complete as well so basically all you have to do from here is just change the difficulty to rising dragon pick a battlefield and away you go you're in new game plus now let's talk about everything that's different there are a fair few things that are different the first noticeable thing is that enemies are 100 levels more or less higher so you probably want to be about level 100 more or less when you start new game plus so you should go back and do either sub battlefields or main battlefields that you haven't done level yourself up so you can be ready to take on these challenges now the lucky thing here is that you don't have to fight that bs first boss you can just like avoid them because you get parts one two and three unlocked right from the start of the rising dragon difficulty bosses here in this difficulty are above morale rank 20 if they were say morale rank 20 beforehand but for the most part they have an extra three to five morale rank so they're going to be harder anyway because they're 100 levels higher but their morale rank is going to be higher than yours for the most part unless you max your morale rank out to 25 which in some encounters you can't actually do right from the first mission you also have access to all of the allies from the main game so if there's allies that you didn't level up or allies that you want to bring with you on certain missions you can just bring anyone with you here it doesn't really matter there are no real story implications to any of that plus also like all the cutscenes are skipped uh, automatically in this difficulty as well so you'll get like a black screen which lasts a fair amount of time which because it's probably a loading screen to be honest that's why the cutscene would typically play but that cutscene is skipped and then you just get the go straight into whatever that fight may be the loot here is the key difference in new game plus like that's the main reason why you would probably be doing new game plus and grinding out new gear so the first First thing is that in the battlefield itself you will find rank 8 and rank 9 steel and leather and other pieces of gear that's significantly better than what you would have found on your original journey through the game now all the loot and stuff that you pick up will probably be of a higher rarity but it will definitely be of a higher rank so you know you can go through the first missions and find like rank 7 8 and 9 gear whereas previously you obviously wouldn't but you can also find those materials like rank 8 steel and stuff on the ground it seems like some of these like loot drops have been updated but not all of them so you'll still get some of the old stuff but then some of the new stuff so there's a weird balance between that and for the other like special rewardy things like the golden cicada shells or any notes dragon vein items that sort of thing you will only get ones that you didn't get in the main game so if you miss them in the main game they'll still be there if you didn't miss them they won't actually be there so you can go and hunt down things that you may have missed in the new game plus difficulty the main difference here is that you'll occasionally pick up loot that has five star rating or a special grace set. This is like the juice of New Game Plus and why you should potentially do it if you want to, right? So the five star gear operates the same as four star gear, except you get an extra jewel slot for embedding. So you'll have all of the slots on that gear completely filled out. So while in New Game Plus, any random gear that you collect, armor pieces, accessory, weapons, all that sort of stuff, have a chance to be this five star rarity. On top of that, there is special New Game plus like set bonuses called grace of whatever they may be these are significantly more powerful than any of the base game set bonuses but they are extremely hard to get because they have such a very small chance of dropping because they only appear on gear that doesn't have a set piece already so if you've got say any of the gear you probably wore during your main playthrough that already has a set bonus example being the dread star set that i'm wearing for my hammer build which you should go check out if you haven't already that's the build that i took into new game plus you can't can't get these gray sets on that because it's already got a set bonus it has to be on gear that in the base game didn't have a set bonus there's a chance that that gear will then have these grace of set bonuses which are significantly powerful and entirely unique onto themselves and they only drop in new game plus the drop rates for these five star gear and these great sets are so small i've got a grand total of two 
of these gray sets drop for me. And not even a whole set, just like pieces of a gray set. Actually, that might be a lie. I think I just got one before I started recording this video. So I might have three. So apologies if I am lying to you there. But it's also worth mentioning that gray sets can appear on any star gear. It doesn't have to be a five star gear. They can appear on three, four, etc. So before you go and salvage all your gear, just make sure you're checking in case you're looking for a specific gray set. It might be on a lower tier rarity of a piece of gear. So farming this gear is hard. And the best thing you can do to increase your chance of getting it is to increase your luck stat. Now your luck stat is one of your main stats that you can see in the status screen. And really the only way to increase this is by putting luck onto your gear. So when you go into the jewel embedding, some gear, not all pieces of gear, you can actually put the luck stat onto it to increase your overall luck. Some gear will already have luck onto it. So it saves you having to put it onto that piece of gear. Your accessories, you absolutely should just equip accessories, even if they do nothing that just have luck on them to increase your chances of these drops, as well as whatever ranged weapon you currently have equipped. Not the secondary one, it's whatever one is actively equipped. You'll get the stat bonuses from that actual piece. And and on top of that, there is also the equipment drop rate, which is like another hidden stat, which increases the chance of actually equipment dropping when you defeat enemies. You know, you can do this via jewels the same as you can with luck, but also the Ying Long Divine Beast that you get for completing the game actually has this on them. And they're actually a pretty good Divine Beast as well. Like if you die, they'll just revive you if you do have the Divine Beast active. So they're not actually that bad in terms of a Divine Beast. So definitely put them on to increase your chances of equipment dropping, then increase your luck stat as much as you can. So then you have an even more chance of getting five star or gray sets dropping. And then it's really either about just grinding these sets out or just playing the game as you normally would. If you want to try and grind this out, it's best to focus on boss encounters in those sub battlefields that are essentially you just arrive at the battlefield and then fight a boss because you have a chance as soon as you beat that boss of getting those pieces because of the equipment drops you get after that. So you can really just try and grind that out from those encounters. But honestly, Honestly, it's really up to you and it's such a low chance that if you don't find that enjoyable just like go and play the game like let's be honest you don't have to do that i personally don't like grinding and i'd rather just play the video game you know what i mean let's go over some quick tips for new game plus now i have mentioned it a couple of times but new game plus is entirely a gear grind like that's the main thing here because enemies are just so strong man like you make one mistake and you'll just like die instantly especially bosses they are really hard and even though you can summon your allies and have any allies with you they are pretty useless in new game plus the old allies because they health hasn't really scaled very well and because the enemies deal so much damage they'll get like one or two shot you'll constantly be reviving them they're a little bit good for cannon fodder but they're not as valuable as they were in like the base game make sure when you are exploring that you find the little demon bear as when you give him gear he actually has a chance to give you five star accessories so it's a good way to get five star accessories is by just giving him the gear having him little nibble it down and he'll give that to you if your purpose of watching this video is like should i play a new game plus which you know i've watched videos like that before I mean, maybe. If you enjoyed Wolong and you want more of it, then definitely. If you just want to grind out gear, then definitely. But if that stuff and build variety and like trying to get better gear isn't really for you, it may not be worth it because it is excruciatingly difficult until you start grinding some of that gear and leveling yourself up. You will have a hard time. Like it is significantly harder than the base game. Enemies deal so much damage. You really have to either mitigate that with your build or just be like really good at the video game and not make any mistakes. So there's a lot of complexities there, but it is fun. Like I think if you want more Wolong, then definitely check it out. Let me know in the comments if you're jumping into new game plus in Wolong Fallen Dynasty and thank you guys for watching this video till the end. Thank you to our members for supporting the channel. My name is Norza and I hope you have a great day.